In this video, we're going to clone a repository, create a new Visual Studio Web API project, and check it in to our new repository. Then we'll make a change to the code and check it in again, and then we'll view the check-ins and the source code to make sure everything is in Bitbucket. So I'm at my developer machine and I have browsed to the home page of my Bitbucket server. And let me log in as my dev account that I created earlier. And I'm going to search for the repository that I created called Nifty API right here. And here is the git clone command that I need to copy and paste into Visual Studio. So now I'm here in Visual Studio. And if I click Team Manage Connections, I should have my Git clone button right here. And this is installed with Git Tools for Windows. That is part of the Visual Studio 2015 installation. So if I click clone, I paste in the URL that I copied from the Bitbucket page. And I have to specify a folder where I want to save the local repository to. And I'll just save it to my SRC uh, NIP directory. I'll click clone. And the repository was cloned successfully. So now I can create a new project in the repository. I'm just going to create a new web application and we'll call it Nifty API. And then click OK. I'm just going to select Web API, add unit tests, and I'll change the authentication to none just to make the solution a little bit smaller. And click OK, and now we're making the project. Now before checking in, I want to make sure that the tests run successfully. So I don't see my test explorer window. So I'll bring it up by clicking the test menu, Windows, Test Explorer. And now let me do a build by clicking the build menu and build solution. The build is successful and my tests show up. So let me do a run all, they all pass. So now if I go to my Team Explorer, and then I go to the home page and click Changes, and I'll see all my changes right there. Now before committing it to the, to the remote repository on my Bitbucket server, I want to specify my Bitbucket username and email so that I can easily find my check-ins from the Bitbucket web page. So I'll click the Home button again and go to Settings, and then Repository Settings. And then under my username, I'm going to write type Farouk, which is my Bitbucket username. And the email address is the one I made up for this example. update. Now go back to the home page and to changes and I'll enter a commit message. Okay. And then select commit all in sync. And the commit is successful. So let's go back to the Bitbucket page and I'll click the source button. And now I see I have my source code here, API and the tests. Then on the left hand side, I'll click the commit button and I see my commit. And I can click the commit to see everything that has been added as part of that check-in. Great, so now let's make a change to the code. So let me do test-driven development here and go to my home controller 
and I want to change the string that's returned from the home controller's index method. So I'm going to change it from home page to this is the nifty API. I'm just going to copy that. So now I'll run my tests again. And as expected, the index test fails. So let me go to the index method and change the code. And I'll run the tests again. And it passes. So now let's check in. Go back to Team Explorer, click the home page button, and go to changes. And we see our changes to our two files. And add a note. And we'll do a commit all in sync. And that was good. And let's just verify that on the Bitbucket's repository page. So I'll click the commits button again. And there's my commit. And I can see the diff. And here's the test changes and the controller changes. And that's how easy it is to set up a Bitbucket repository and check in code.